corner, we have Doodle starting as the Purple Protoss, upper right-hand corner, or upper left-hand corner, let me get my directions right. Upper right-hand corner, we have Fisheye starting as the Great Protoss. This is BSL Season 16 Hasu League Finals, and we got an exciting one on our hands. As both players have taken down two games apiece in this best of seven, this is going to be on Power Bond, a much larger, more macro-oriented map, potentially. It's actually one of those weird maps where it's, it's the three-player isometric sort of style with the nice command center and the nice flower shape in the middle. But at the same it is mineral heavy, granted, you know, you've the three spawns and whatnot, but it still feels oddly mineral light just because it's not like it has the same sort of glut of resources that other maps do. So I feel like it can lead to more macro oriented matches, but more furious battles over territory a little bit more rapidly. Could be off on that, but that's just been what I feel like I've witnessed the stage in my gut. Pylon along my lower edge towards the ramp for Doodle. Pylon going to hug the Nexus here from Fisheye. This does open up the possibility for two gate play, as it is one of those three player maps. You send the probe to one base and then you know where to send it after the fact. First probe scouting out for Doodle. No scout out yet for Fisheye. Again, maybe some mineral boosting happening because Fisheye's 10th probe coming online a little bit later than Doodle's. I'm actually curious to see if that is in fact the case or maybe it's just patch selection. It's hard to tell these days. Probe actually cutting across the midfield. Kind of an odd scouting pattern. I'm wondering if this is to be sneaky and go into the three o'clock location or maybe this is, is this just unfamiliarity with map or is this an intentional no I think this might just be this might show that dude a little bit unfamiliar with the map architecture and it looks like we are going to see Fisheye open up with the two gate or do you have the cybernetics core warping in for doodle on the opposite side doodle now correcting going to go ahead and sneak in see the two gate I'm curious to see what Doodle's response is going to be. Is he going to go for the shield battery defense? I kind of like the two zealot and a probe style that we saw. I don't know that that is as viable in a non new sylphid style map. But a very quick assimilator grab from Fisheye to follow. So just wants to go for the initial three zealot challenge. In fact, is not sending the three zealots out at all as of yet. First out, doing what it can to chase around that probe initially. Let's see if Fisheye just draws that probe out or is going to wait for that Dragoon. Now the Zealot's making the way across. So that will be three Zealots plus a probe that will not... Ooh, that will definitely not... Oh, gets taken out! Zealots already tasted blood. Look out. Shield battery defense on the front. Doodle holding to see whether there's any follow-up Zealots, although he probably shouldn't be suspicious of it given that you have all of those probes in gas. Three Zelts marching their way across. A little bit of a difficulty shuffling across the front to get that first Dragoon out to get the free damage. It's going to be a, whale, uh, a ways before that second Dragoon is also produced. But Fisheye's Zealots having a little bit of scattered problems. Now getting boxed in. Some nice defense. The probe pulling off the line. Having some trouble attacking that rear Zealot. But a nice defense overall from Doodle. Did he even take base? Yeah, he took some base damage from that Zealot. Ooh, the last Zealot manages to sneak through the one the edge, but will it be able to get a probe now? Trying to do what damage it can. Gets wiped out. Worker count just about even. Overall supply lead for Doodle. Plus he's got this nifty shield battery that might come in handy later. Loses his own probe. So now that Dragoon's become a veteran as well, has done the damage, knows what war is like to beat up on scary, vicious probes. I wonder if probes are... So you know how it, if anyone's watched The Mandalorian recently, they have these little, the little black boxes that run around? I, I almost feel like probes are that version of that in the, in the StarCraft realm. They're kind of cute and dog-like. But anyway... Second gateway being placed, so it's going to be two gate robo from Doodle. 
no robotics facility as of yet from Fisheye. I think he's going to go for a few more Dragoons, and then we'll see potentially an expansion grab from him once range is finished. Going to be a little bit. I do like the pylon placement and the observatory. Tor oh, never mind. Observatory and robotics support bay towards the rear. One to provide scouting just in case the shuttle makes its way that direction, but also to hide tech away from his opponent. Fisheye now gathering up on the low ground, dropping his own robotics facility. So I take it back. I thought he was going to go Nexus into Robo. Instead, he's going to go Robo heads up and is marching across the field, which I'm surprised considering he's at a overall, he was at an overall troop deficit. That's not the highlight I want to do. So we got six Dragoons going up against five Dragoons and a closer reinforcement point. Although you do have that one Zealot in between. Fisheye theoretically can win this fight. The Observer going to spot everything coming across. Yeah, retreating. Going to use that pylon as a barricade. I think he was hoping to grab that expansion. Loses one Dragoon, so he's going to have to wait for reinforcements. So loses a probe, control of his natural expansion, and a pylon on the low ground. Oh, he's going to lose a bonus Dragoon as well. And on top of that, Fisheye grabbing his expansion. So it looks like he just reversed the order, went for the robotics facility, then the expansion. Fisheye having some trouble controlling one of his Dragoons, but now he's got a huge... Because of the double tech expand, a huge lead and more zealots being constructed actually from Doodle alongside this Reaver. Going to use some fighting along that high ground to try to reclaim position. He is going for shuttle speed, so I don't think we're going to see an expansion take from Doodle anytime soon. He definitely wants to get aggressive with this Reaver play. Oof, nice free drag shot. Nazelt also taking some high ground damage. I like that Doodle's abusing this high ground as best he can, kind of the small things. The Observer inside the base, checking out the tech in the meantime, sees that robotic support bay, probably has already confirmed that natural expansion. The Reaver near that ramp. This is where it can be really, really tricky, especially with that shield battery blockading things along that edge. More Zealots being constructed. And a general def massive smaller amount of at least ranged units here. Fisheye with a massive amount of Dragoons still able to deny that low ground. Second Reaver constructed from Doodle. So wants to try to clear out that natural expansion, walk down, clear out that natural expansion, hopefully clear out some troops alongside of it, and then maybe get some shots from there. Trying to abuse that high ground. The Zealot's now marching out. Gonna eat some free shots. A counter Zealot dying. They need to be careful engaging these Zealots because that does sometimes lead to free shots this is a very tricky situation for Fisheye. So he, he has superior Dragoons versus three, but that's two Reavers. And against Spread, they do a massive damage. Took another free shot, which he can't afford yet. Now he's trying to spread out those Dragoons to try to negate that advantage a little bit. But now he doesn't have the superior Dragoon numbers outside his natural expansion, although had superior positioning. Loses another Dragoon for his effort. The shuttle going to scoop up the Reavers. Fisheye... Navigating to the north, maybe to engage that shuttle as it's coming across. The Observer going to get picked off. Economic lead there for Fisheye. He's going to have a sizable economic lead, although Doodle not yet moving out of his base. It looks like maybe he's going to wait for the Scarab damage upgrade. No, now starting to move out. It will be tricky, however, because again, Fisheye still has that worker lead. He's the production lead. He's got three gateways pumping troops compared to the third gateway that's not yet online. The Reaver compliment going to move to the north we have three dragoons to the north already nice reaction from doodle to sweep back around shield battery at the natural expansion fisheye on the defense has the worker lead currently an observer trying to make its way back across to see how these units are grouping up and the reavers look like i want to get some free shots out on the front looks like just working on that pylon initially need to be a little bit careful Ooh, this reaver needs to be careful as well get some free shots on the dragoons along that edge, which might reveal that that Observer was overhead to be able to land that shot. More troops moving out for Doodle. He's got his natural expansion established now, has a worker deficit. The Reaver moving in again. More Dragoons on the low ground. The Reaver able to, able to take out that grouping. Reinforcements trying to move in. The shuttle going to scoop them up. Now we have a shuttle on the opposite side to help defensively from that position. The Observer just trying to pin on that shuttle. This Observer moving up. And as soon as that's wiped out, Fisheye's going to have a much more challenging defense of this front. He does have his own two Reavers out, actually getting supply blocked with that pylon being lost. 
has high ground right now. Ooh, got a double explosion there, but I think he got a shot off. We see the explode off. The explode off. He needs to be careful with that positioning. Got some free shots, taking some base damage on the shuttle overall, and Doodle actually backing off at this stage. Going to reassemble his engagement line. Worker count just about even. So four, four worker lead there for Fisheye overall. I think he's got a gateway lead for the moment. We got a couple additional gateways warping in for Doodle. Worker lead overall, or I should say the supply lead overall in Fisheye's favor. But that tech lead, I think the explosive shot must have finished. Ooh, big hit on one of those Reavers already. These guys still... So this guy's taking a shot, but otherwise they're still fresh. Just trying to expend the micro off between the two. Just trying to expend each other's resources in the form of a Scarab at a time. And actually getting free Dragoons here and there. So Doodle using his aggressive positioning wisely. Again, checking the north. He's got a probe to the south, maybe thinking of grabbing an additional base. And right now has managed to reverse the position from the earlier stages of the match. Ooh. No shuttle support right there. Shield battery quickly healing the Reaver up after taking a hit. Nice spread of damage. Needs to be a little bit careful wandering that far out. That he doesn't end up losing the shuttle. At least pushing Doodle off the front. More reinforcements making their way up. And it looks like Doodle going to try to use this forward threat to establish a faster third base. To gain the lead that direction over Fisheye. Fisheye just now starting his shuttle speed. Has scooped up two Zealots to maybe go for a move out of his own. Oof, that Weaver interior to the base is highly damaged. That shield battery doing some work. Let's see if he decides to exchange some of these troops out, actually, for fresher troops. One problem for Doodle is he has been moving those troops aggressively forward. All of a sudden, a second... I didn't even see that second shuttle full of Reavers moved up, and now a huge threat in Fisheye's base. Microing across two Reaver lines is going to leave one to die, but that's going to give Fisheye to, something to think about. Some fancy little bit of micro there, but now Fisheye moving out with his one shuttle with the Reaver. Doodle might be able to spot it, but he doesn't have any defense. Well, okay, he's got some Dragoons moving out, but I don't know that they spotted that shuttle making their way out. So this could be a devastating counterattack from Fisheye. Never mind, he saw it. He's staging a few Dragoons to the north. I think he's going to need more than this, though. There it's moving in. Dropping short. Not quite able to get to the worker line. Shuttle gone. Does get a hit. And with that, actually, the worker count... Just about even. And that's going to be one less Reaver for Fisheye, who's already had a Reaver deficit. Third Nexus dropped for Doodle, and Fisheye now, uh, as the supply counts are dead even, needs to start thinking about breaking out of his own natural expansion to deny bases to his opponent. Working with only one shuttle upon that previous loss, looks like he might want to exit out another direction to go for another, either get some scouting information or go for another hit. Doodle being frustrating on the front, on the front not getting some base damage done. I forges here, but there's not a lot else defending. The Dragoons are not near that natural expansion. And does Fisheye spot this? I don't know that Fisheye spots it. So gonna get a, a drop, at least a drop. Getting three more workers. Four more workers. Now 11 hits. And with that, Fisheye going to take the overall worker lead. An economic lead. Oh, what a lineup. Huge damage. That Reaver, a hero. So despite now having three Nexus, Doodle's going to have to macro his brains out. And his economy going to be gravely damaged as now moving out in the shuttle un... Ugh. Unguarded gets wiped out with two Reavers inside. Everything swinging in Fisheye's favor suddenly. Granted, he's still down a Nexus, but he's done a massive amount of damage. 
His army is now swelling in comparison. Looks like Zealot Leg Speed I probably missed that upgrading. It's going to finish in not too long. He's had his own forge. He's just starting weapons one, so that will be behind a little bit. But should easily be able to sweep out of his base and with a 30 supply lead, two Reavers work things. One Reaver dies in the shuttle. Having some trouble getting out. I take it back. I thought this was going to be an easy walkout, but instead... Being pushed out a little bit still. This does give Doodle some time to again re-push that worker count. Fisheye going to make another aim at it. You can see it's almost in two control groups here, spread out from Doodle. And Fisheye having some trouble walking his army out. A lot of his army trapped to the north. Psystorm, if nothing else, Psystorm will be able to get him out of this base, but his main just about mined out. Doodle checking out additional expansions along that edge, noticing there's nothing else, and he's grabbing a fourth. And you can see with that triple production, he's cut where Doodle, where Fisheye's had to just not build any workers because he hasn't had the bases to saturate. Now moving back out, trying to bust out again. Gets a big shot on the Reaver line. Pretty good spread along that right-hand edge. The rest of that army starting to peel forward. This time, it looks like he's going to be able to break out and still have a sizable army left over. Pushing out on the map. Fisheye needs to capitalize on this in his army a little bit scattered all over the place, but inflict maximum damage, maybe starting at that third. Doodle being walked back, trying to create another forward line, regrouping with a full Dragoon front. Plus one weapons has finished for him. Two Reavers joining. And Fisheye somewhat scattered. Psystorm will be in operation momentarily, but coming to this fight rather late. One big Psystorm drops. The second one drops, but that is going to be it. And Doodle looks like he's going to be able to fend this off. Battle Probe walking his way up. The Reavers, one of the Reavers gets taken out. Now Doodle needs to rely on some macro, still getting overwhelmed. Despite the slow walk, big hit, but a Reaver remains, as well as some additional troops. The probe's just going to walk out and start mining that fort. There's a single cannon there. I don't think Doodle has enough troops to save his third. Fisheye grabbing his third and starting to distance mine now. Third base out, shuttle moving to go ahead and wipe out some additional probes at the natural. Not quite able to get anything there. Bit of a dud. But now going to move out, find that fourth. These probes completely exposed. With that 30 troop lead, Fisheye diving in and making it count. Kind of debating whether he's going to attack that natural or not. Ending up leaving some of his troops exposed. Is going along that southern route to have a better, better engagement point from the high ground. The probe's now evacuating out of Doodle's base. Now Doodle going to lose his third operational base. And he's going to have to distance mine. So this shortly will be a economic advantage to Fisheye. Although he's got to, yeah, got to cap that Nexus. Pulling right back out. Doodle has some troops on the ground trying to mirror the movements. Two Reavers as well. The supply counts are actually a lot closer now. At this stage, as Fisheye, keep in mind, as he lost that main, was forced to distance mine was hurting on his side economically as well, but these are going to be all the troops for Doodle until he gets another base dropped. And this is going to be... Granted, they're still mining out of that natural, but that has a big impact on mineral input. Feels weird to say impact and input. Few troops being left to go ahead and deny that fourth should try to be redropped. Doodle weaving towards that third. High Templar out. That's going to be a sizable advantage for Fisheye for the remainder. Especially because you can't micro your way out of Psy Storm as Reavers. Doodle looking to engage, but a lot of his Dragoons out of the fight and Fisheye pushing on the angle. Zealots with Zealot Leg Speed returning. But where's the rest of Fisheye's army? There it is. Okay, finally regathering, but it looks like Doodle just has better spread, was able to keep those Reavers alive. Pushing into the third. Doodle has, or sorry, Fisheye is that closer reinforcement point, keep in mind. But right now, it looks like Doodle 
winning that fight overall. More High Templar moving up, but they barely have enough energy to even drop a size storm. They're easily going to be picked off as they're in open field. A bit of a misfire there. But now Fisheye's third going to be taken out in kind. Doodle swinging the battle the other direction. Fisheye all of a sudden plummeting to half the supply of Doodle with that last engagement and being denied that third. His main is mined out. The natural expansion is all that's left. Few troops walking down from the high ground from that fourth to try to deny additional mining, but Doodle able to just clean that up fairly rapidly. Somewhere in the midst of all that battle and losing probes at that third, Doodle is able to recapture the worker lead. And now Fisheye has a couple High Templar, a few Dragoons walking out to make something happen. And it'll take a miracle. It looks like he's hoping he can just go ahead and grab that Nexus at that three o'clock. However, ooh, Doodle eating a lot of Side Storm that time. Reaver still along that edge and still with the Spirit. Now 20... Worker, uh, a total overall macro lead. Pushing into that three o'clock, that's gonna force a cancellation. Doodle doing a good job of keeping due diligence. At least it's resources back in the pocket with that cancel, rather than a dead Nexus. Battle Probe walking in between, wants to get a look at the worker count, maybe wants to see what the mineral situation is like at that natural. Two Dragoons have managed to push through. However, there are two Reavers waiting for them at Doodle's third. Doodle pulling back. Reaver's gonna try to do what they can to whittle away at that mineral income, unfortunately, uh, just getting plastered. Another attempt at a Nexus. The Dragoon's going to be spotted by the pylon as they walk across. Doodle gonna try to grab a fourth. That would be risky at this stage. He's got double shuttle Four Reaver full as the Dragoons are making their way up, checking the wrong location. I think they were hoping a fourth was there, and now they're going to be out of position to defend this third once again. Forcing yet another cancellation. I think that's going to be the GG. As the Dragoons are also caught along the rear and potentially just going to get hunted down. Fisheye can no longer catch up in the troop count. He's got some High Templar moving out, but honestly, I think this is too large a Dragoon swarm, especially with the Reavers in tow. Ooh, some nice size storm being dropped. But yeah, I don't think that is going to be sufficient. Their fish are going to drop GG. I just wanted to have the last moment a uh, size storm to feel good about it. The replay wanting to restart for some reason. Really fun game. I am enjoying this series between these two. I hope you guys are as well. If you are, please give a like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Appreciate your viewership as always. Thank you for listening.